Welcome to Defense and Space News TV. If you not subscribe this channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for daily update. So, let's begin today's video. Let's talk about first update. America's top fighter jet manufacturer Lockheed has said it is open to helping India in producing of indigenously designed light combat aircraft Tejas. Currently, the state-run Hindustan Aeronautics Limited HAL, is producing around 8 Tejas annually and the Defense Ministry wants to it to increase the number to 18 planes per annum. Tejas is a single-engine multi-role fighter aircraft. It is the smallest and lightest multi-role supersonic fighter in its class. Vivek Lal, Vice President of Strategy and Business Development for Lockheed Martin Aeronautics, told PTI that the company is open to helping India on Tejas. Lockheed Martin has a strong record for successful international industrial partnership many of which happen to be directly related to the F-16, the Indian-American official said. Vivek Lal said the F-16 is a proven force multiplier that would certainly complement the Tejas. The production of F-16 in India, as being proposed by Lockheed, will not only put the country at the epicenter of $165 million fighter aircraft sustainment market, but also the world's largest fighter aircraft ecosystem. Lockheed, which has proposed to shift its entire F-16 manufacturing base to India, subject to it getting a major order from the Indian Armed Forces, argued that the currently there are production opportunities for more than 400 such fighter jets globally. Next update, Japan is preparing an order for roughly 100 US-designed F-35 stealth fighter jet in a deal that could potentially upend the balance of power in Asia according to the sources familiar to the process. That order would increase a version of the jet that can take off and land vertically, a feature that could prompt Japan to transform some of its existing ship into aircraft carriers so that it can operate the fighter jet at sea, a capability they have not had since World War II, a sources close to the F-35 program told CNN. With a short takeoff vertical landing capability, you are now able to operate at sea. You are able to penetrate area and reach ranges in a shorter distance, which is an important capability. The sources said Japan's defense ministry would not confirm the deal, but said it would be looking to buy a highly competent fighter jet when its mid term defense maintenance plan came up for approval by Prime Minister Shinzo Abe's cabinet in December. Next update. 2019 will be Light Compact Aircraft's year. The Light Compact Aircraft Navy program has a series of important flight tests lined up for next year. The prototype of the LCA Navy will carry out high-speed arrestor hook system trials earlier next year. The LCA Navy program was rejuvenated a few months ago when the aircraft prototype executed the first contact for the arrestor hook system with arresting wire at moderate taxi in speed on location at Soar Board based facility INS Hansa. The aircraft will also make a landing on Soar based test facility, which has been built to replicate an aircraft carrier with sky jump for takeoff and arresting gear for aircraft recovery. The last few months have a rebirth of sorts of the LCA Navy program as the aircraft, which was grounded over a year, has once again not only got airborne but also carried out important tests to prove it that it is meeting the carrier capability requirements of the Indian Navy. The LCA Naval program commissioned in 2003, the first flight of the first prototype NP-1 was 2012 and NP-2 first flight happened in 2015. Thanks for watching, do subscribe, like, comment and stay with us.